Well, I decided I have an intermediate compound that is between the grit of the two I've used. This one being the coarser and this one being the lighter grit. But it has a lot of additives for metal. And I'm not doing metal. So I'm coming in with this rougher one and just seeing what happens if I work the paint with this one. You know, what kind of a finish do I get? This is kind of a test, as you know. I mean, I still have to do this portion. And I could still take off more from this section here. I mean, I, I can take a little bit more of that off, but I'm kind of a less is more person. And I can make it out, but I'm not too wild about taking it to the extreme. If I guess wrong and I go too deep, then I won't be able to polish out like I'm doing now. And I'll be down to the wood, and that means I've got to bring somebody in to paint it. I don't really want to do that. So I'll just do the best I can with this. Okay, so now we take and we're going to remove that compound. I would always suggest removing jewelry when working on wood. If you happen to touch the wood, you will scratch it. I have crazing in this wood. I'm not too worried about that. Coming in now with our Corey's original set and finish, which is actually just a kind of a finishing compound for Steinway pianos and other old pianos that have set and finishes. So I'm just trying to see how shiny do I want. Buff. Well, for me personally, I'd say that that's probably as shiny as it needs to be. Now, so in other words, I may go ahead and do the whole piano. I'll show you another trick here that I use. And and everybody's in favor of these techniques. They've got their way, and I've got mine. A lot of do things. One of the least invasive ways to address these little chips down here is a black sharpie. And what I like about it. I don't really use lines, I use dots. Because your eye won't pick up a line with the dots, but it most certainly will if you start drawing lines on it, because there'll be a clear line. Your eye can pick up a line, but it does not pick up dots very well. A lot of interesting things about how the human brain and vision function what they can see pretty well and what they can't I'm not looking for this unit to be perfect that's not the standard It'll look pretty good. 1683 shouldn't look perfect. Okay, so now I've got the boogers out of it. We come up here with something like this, and I would come in then and bring that in out. 
your eye probably is not picking up the dots. Okay, so now we're back to sanding, and I think since I have extra sandpaper, I might as well go get a fresh one. So we'll stop this video.